in a business uh, what could happen is many a time you might get a request from a from business saying give me um, okay give me the details or we can say give me a purchase order wise analytical report this report should actually show me per purchase order the total price which i am paying to a vendor or we can say uh, they can also ask you for the maximum price they are paying for any sort of purchase order line item or we can say minimum price they can also ask for or we can say they also want you to uh, give the total items you have placed placed in a purchase order so we can say total line count you, they can also ask you for they can also ask you for what is the average price whenever i am placing an order to a uh, vendor as a part of the purchase order then what are the kind of a average price that i am getting over here is all the requests that you might get over here and whenever this short of request arise okay in a ecc we were uh, ultimately not able to use the grouping functions because of that of the performance issue okay here we have the capability or we can say our database is capable enough for uh, capable enough to process those complex tasks on a database layer and that is why grouping functions are something which would become very handy over here okay so if i want to use a grouping function let me just create a one view over here I can say uh, yeah, I just start following the con certain conventions now. So if you see first, I'll just use a package name in the CDS view. I'll just specify underscore C whenever it comes to a CDS view entity for now. And I can say uh, grouping function, for example. I'll just go next over here. And I'll be just defining one set of view. So whenever it's a CDS view, I would follow a naming convention saying whatever is the namespace that we would be following underscore C that is for a CDS view. Of course, that the convention would change in the upcoming session whenever we would be learning the VDM, but just to segregate it for now. And whenever I'm gi giving a name for SQL view, I can say underscore S. Now, next thing, what are we trying to achieve over here? What is the business case that we are following? So as a business case, I want to retrieve all the particular purchase orders. Um, line item level information because I want to get the maximum price out of 50 lines, minimum price, the total amount of price, the line item and the average price. So I'll say fine, that is pretty OK for me. So what I'll do is I'll just specify the line item table called EKPO over here. Here. After specifying that based on what information I want a uh, report to get generated. So I'll just say purchase order. So I'll just say key EBLN because I can expect only one line item to come as a part of my output. Now, next thing which I'll be specifying over here is uh, the actual output, the analytical data. So I'll just use a max function. So I do have a max function which gives me the information of the maximum information I want to derive. So net price is the something that I want to use for a max. So I'll just say max NETP here. Let's just say my user is also asking me to show the minimum price. So I'll just go my minimum of net price. Uh, let's just say I want to go with the average of net price. So I'll just say average of net price. Let's just say I want to figure out the total amount of a purchase order. And let's just say I want to also figure out how many lines are there in the purchase order for purchase order. So I'll just specify as and I can say total lines. This is how it would be us very straightforward. So here I specified uh, average, but there should be a sum. That's why it's giving me an error. Okay, now 
I can have n number of line item in a purchase order. So whenever I'm specifying any sort of such information, I should ask my system to group the data based on something. And that is why if you see, I'm getting an error over here that the group by clause is missing. OK. So the rule is. Whatever columns you are uh, referring to. In a particular select query. Anywhere be it a column combination or be it in a where clause or anywhere. If it's not using a aggregation function. Here max is an aggregation function minimum is aggregation function. So whatever columns are there which are not using any sort of aggregation function. Should be part of your group by clause. So here that is what I'm specifying. I can say OK group by EBL. It would group my data based on a purchase order. OK, that is what the system is specifying over here. So if I just activate this. And if I just try executing this. I would be getting that for this particular purchase order. There are total 10 line items out of 10 line items. The average price is 4.6. I mean 460. The maximum is 123 minimum is 9.54 and the summation is 460 likewise. So ultimately we are getting a right set of 